You can see a problem with that boat. It's kind of underwater. This is a bit of the storm surge. It's a nor'easter. Got a big uh, blizzard happening. Can't do a lot today. I tried to do some melon acting, that didn't work out. The ground was completely frozen. It was only four days ago, and it was eight degrees above zero. It would have been great, but now it's a miserable snowy day. And uh, the boat's not going to go anywhere, I don't think. It's not, not deep enough to float it. It's on a bit of a bank there, but the water is pretty high. My project for today, I gotta go up into the house here and uh, take out a banister and a couple other things before it falls down. Why am I doing it today? Two reasons. One is because I can't do anything outside. Two is because it's below zero so all the mold and bugs and whatever won't be, uh, won't be so bad inside the old house. So. We'll take a walk in here, see if we can get through the gauntlet. I'm also looking for my pry bar, which is under here somewhere. This roof is completely caving in, as you can see. So i got to get through the door here, and then I'll show you the banister once we get under there. down here so let's go in and see if we can get in here now that spray paint that is that's brand new that's interesting where's your god PB Not sure who they're referring to. Anyways, there's some things in here I need to get. My wife wants me to pull out. This is completely caving here, the floor. I don't know if you can see that, but I have no idea what's safe in here to walk on anymore. This is a tiny kitchen. This sink is actually still uh, it's a good old cast iron sink, deep, deep sink there. Uh, there's a hole up there to the outside. It's certainly easier to breathe in here when it's not uh, not too warm. Now this is one of those. I my wife wants these shelves. I think these are, these are probably nailed in. But, uh, little keychain foot. So I'll have to get it. Uh, pulling these down, I'll probably get my hammer out and yank those down. Set those outside, put and put them aside. So I'll get that. Let's see what we get to. A few pieces out. I'm gonna go and see if I can get over to the banister and pull it out. Oh, actually, there's one over here that I need to over here. I need to get someone wrote death on here. I don't know how recent that is. Someone, someone was obviously in here goofing around. They did smash all the porcelain. It's pretty amazing, all things considered. Certainly, it's easier to work in here. 
winter. So I'm gonna get this thing out here. Take that off the wall, probably. Probably pry it off the wall with my hammer here. I don't see anything too amazing down there. Maybe chunk. On the deathbed. All right, now we'll take a gander over to the living room. What's in there? Bag of something. Be careful where I'm walking here. Now this is all hardwood flooring. You can see it. You can see it bowed there. The house is just collapsing on this side. Wow. Now let's just peel this up. That's interesting. I guess it's glued. Wow. I'm not sure what's under. I think just I think that's it under there. Hardwood floor is really bouncy. This place just destroyed. Have to get this torn down real soon. over to the side of the house and see if I can get to the banister. I don't know if we'll be able to make it that far. This would have been the dining room here. You can see this side of the house is just collapsing. See how angled that is there? Try and put you straight so you can see it. I already fell through the floor once on this side. So I gotta be very careful. It's not much holding it up anymore. Stay to the sides. This is the banister I gotta get out. I gotta take it from the bottom piece by piece, and maybe I'll just send it at the front door. It's, uh, it's starting to show wear. And and mold. So there's the hole I fell through last time. Oh yeah, there's a. I can see sky up there. There's snow. <laughs> so I got to get this out now. This is really. It's got ice on it. It's falling apart. Get wrecked. Oops. A piece of glass. Raccoon poop everywhere, of course. Oh yeah, big hole in the in the roof. You can see snow coming down there. This is miserable. Well, I'm gonna get this thing out now if I can. I'm gonna cut it out piece by piece. Just get it out of here. I'll set my bag down. There we go. I think I screwed this door in so I can unscrew the door. Yeah, I think there's screws in there. So let's take a walk up here and see if we can see anything. This is all frozen here. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, this is all exposed to the weather. Oh man. Shame, really. Completely big hole. I gotta get rid of. I gotta cut all this. I'm gonna. There's seams here. I'm just gonna cut through the seams, and I'm just gonna tear. I'm just gonna pull them right out. Uh, it's the the banister itself, not the spindles or whatever you call these things. 
I forget the word for them. The, uh... Well, no, I can't think of it, but anyways. I'm going to cut this in pieces and see if I can get it out of here. Out the front door to save it. And I'll shelter it. One last look around here. I don't think there's anything that... I don't think there's anything Lindsay wants from here. Although we could reuse... I mean, there's always stuff you can reuse, but... I did get some nice wood out from in here. Made uh, made a nice table, but but this is it's just too dirty now. Here's a room where I took some floorboards out of, and the roof is totally caving over here. Now, all these would be useful. I'm going to see if I can get these guys out. There's three of them there. That could be real useful. Put some bobs in there. Bevel and bio bunk. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, so I'm gonna take these these guys off. And let's see what else is there to take here. See the black mold there, that's why I don't want to be working here in the summer when the air is thick. door looks like it's holding up the roof a little bit and up here it's completely wrecked this is all wide open completely caving in the little scary kitties there though still still on the uh, windowsill see the crack at the top of the ceiling there and the, uh, top of the window where this is a uh, Getting ready, the whole whole roof is getting ready to fall in. This is a good look up actually into the eave. The wood's still pretty good up there where it's covered. And that hanger I don't care about, that's just a pole. I'm not gonna worry about that. Alright, I gotta get my screwdriver, get some of those hangers, because I think that would be helpful. Then I'm gonna get to work at that banister. So uh Got these three out. I'm gonna go and take that down that banister, and I think I think that'll be it for today. All right, what I got for this job? I've got a nice big long wood ripping saw. Got my Black and Decker sawzall, and of course I got my Makita 18 volt switchover uh, battery pack here, uh, which is really nice. I can put any Makita battery in here. It's all 18 volts, so we're good to go. I'm going to put my shoulder blade on here. I need such a long blade. One piece down. I really have just really mostly want the top. Top's pretty nice. Oh, there's 
I see what it went through a metal post. I didn't realize there was a metal pin in there. It's good I use my uh, metal blade. Interesting. Didn't realize. Luckily, I, I used a uh, wooden metal blade, so that's good. All right, look at this piece here. Again, I'm not too worried about the posts. Just trying to get this out. Less damage the better, of course, but in the end, I just gotta get it out. I'm gonna take a break from that and uh, try to open the door here. It's been a little, been a little frustrating. Uh, yeah. but I'm gonna use the front door here to get all the stuff out. Now with all this frozen, I don't know if I can get it open, but. <sighs> and it's not gonna open because the stuff on the ground. Frozen. Okay. I suppose I could knock the store off. Looks like it's trying to come off anyway. choice. Well, all right, I'm going to uh, bring those pieces down and around then. Got those out. I noticed these uh, banisters. I don't know if I can get one out now. These guys are dovetailed into, this, whoa, into the side of the stairs. Let's see if I can get one out here so I can show you. I'm probably gonna break this. Oh, there we go. Look at this. You think I'm ever getting that out? I need to take the corner pieces off the wood and bang them out, I guess. Look at that workmanship. Who does that these days? Dovetail on the side. No wonder they're sticky to get out. They're hard to get out. Ones these days are just uh, sawed off on the bottom and just Nailed, toenailed in, basically. Whew. So, last thing I got to do is the main banister down there, main pole, whatever you call it. I'll get to that one now. I'll probably try and get these out as many as I can. Not sure what this is, but it's nice uh, brown wood. I don't know. What, I don't know my woods, but maybe it's like a beach, beach nut or something. I don't know. What trees make kind of tan brown wood like that? Um, if you look at the inside of that one where it's broken, I don't think that's just aged color. So. Alright, I'm going to bring my bag down and uh, 
but that's it up here. I'm not worried about these little pieces. I mean, I got most of them, so I'm, I, we can just get some custom, custom spun. I'm not worried about that at all. I mean, they can match those things. And uh, I got most of the. Well, I busted off all those ones. But the ones up here, I got most of, and the top, I got most of. Or nothing. I don't know if we'll, what we'll be using this for, but maybe if we build something on this property, we'll use that. So I don't know. Alright, let's get this down without falling and see if we can get that final one out there. I made it. Oh. Well, I'm at it. I'm going to uh, screw this door back together here. So don't forget that. For now, I don't think I need more than that. Now, I don't know how I'm going to get this bottom one out. It's totally frozen. <coughs> and I'm guessing this one goes down into the subsurface a little bit of the floor. I'm not sure, it's not budging right now, but I'm gonna, gonna lean on it. I assume it's solid. Nice piece of big spun, whatever it is. But I'm gonna try and get out, it's frozen like I say, but yeah, I gotta do it now, I can't wait. It's gonna get done, so. Just camera. Put the camera over here and you can Watch the process if I actually. I'm not going to look in the basement. See if that thing goes down real far or not. Take it for a walk. This is the door for the uh, cellar. Kick that off. Oh. Can we get in here? Oh, I have to crawl in here. All right, here's a deep, deep dark cellar. Now this place is completely collapsing. Completely. It's a shame, really. You can see the big old timbers here. The island stone foundation is totally collapsed in. The floor is falling. Oh, this beam's totally falling out. I see. This, that's why this whole floor is buckling. This part here, all the island stone is falling out. The island stone was worth, uh, worth money. Let's see. Get over here. Now this is the, uh, where's the hole? Oh, it's way over there. I don't know if you can see under here. Everything is just completely wrecked. Floor is ready to cave in. Most of the floor beams are busted. Let's go over here so we can take a look at this. Again, I don't know if you can see this, but I can't see, can't see nothing either. I can't see nothing without a light. Huh. Island stone there. I mean, the post doesn't go all the way down to the ground. I think it's just frozen. I may have to cut it anyways. I may just have to cut it at the bottom. I do got my extra long blade. I suppose I could probably cut it. But, uh, I hate to do that. But, I mean, it's frozen. I don't have... It's going to be obviously especially solid while it's frozen. <clears throat> so look around here, coming around this side here. Oh, I see the light of day over there too. Old bucket set between the 
island stone that's ready to cave in. There's no wash tub here. Let's see. And again, you probably can't see any of this much. No, I don't know where that. I don't know where that thing is. All this island stone is pushed in. This concrete is, is uh, well pushed in. I can't really see what I'm doing. Here, so. I don't know. I'm just gonna have to go upstairs and take a take some more cracks at it, and we'll do what we can. If I have to cut it, I'll cut it. Might as well take it out now while I'm doing it. While I'm here, I've got my tools. Back in place, so the door's not open. There's the boat. That's submerged. Can't quite, whoops. Can't quite the, uh, whew, look at the wind go. I mean, the snow. Getting quite the storm surge here. Blowing up. We'll go around here, I'll go back inside. And I'm just going to do what I can to get that out. If I have to cut it, I don't think it goes down very far. Maybe I'll cut a few inches off. It's not the end of the world, honestly. Like I say, let's get it done. All right, back inside. I'm gonna take a stab at this one and put this down here. I don't know if you can see better. Maybe the contrast is a bit better. I'm gonna saw that thing, I think, um, because honestly, getting it out right now is at least better than it staying in here. So I'm just gonna get it done. Before uh, I don't want to try and be in here during summer trying to get this out. All right, well, I'm going to put my battery on the charger here, get a fresh battery, come back, and I'm just going to cut that off and get it, get it done. In the meantime, I'm going to put the rest of the pieces maybe over in my uh, chicken shed, keep the snow and the water off it, and then we'll figure out what we're doing from there. Back in business. Got my Makita 18-volt all charged up again, ready to go on my Black & Decker saws all. So we can get this thing taken out one way or another. And I'm gonna put my long blade back on. Long demolition blade. And uh, see if we can get my out of here. I might like uh, pull down some of the more of those rings. Well guys, that's it for, for this show, this episode. <clears throat> so the task was basically, well the main task was to get the banister off here. And obviously I got it off. There's so much more trim and stuff, you know, that would have been great to save if, if we could have. I mean, there's all kinds of great wood in here. You know, project wood you could use for stuff. But yeah, there's just too much work. You know, if I, I could spend my whole life tearing apart this and reusing lumber from it and reusing doors and windows, I mean, it's all great stuff, but you need time to do it. So we kind of got the pieces that we, we wanted. There's probably more trim pieces, but uh, at some point you got to say, you know what, I don't have the time to do this. It'd be nice to save all the old windows, but uh, you could really get stuck saving every single little thing. And... Uh, and then what would you do with it all? There's uh, only a limited number of people who are willing to, to pay for this kind of stuff, especially in 
PEI since everybody's got an old house on their property. So, I mean, again, it'd be great to reuse it, but then your house, uh, if we use it in the house, wouldn't be very uh, efficient. So you, you're fighting both sides. It's nice to have uh, kind of nice historic stuff, but uh, you kind of take out what the best pieces are, and I think we could use this banister in, in a new house uh, that will sit on this same location after uh, redoing the foundation, of course. This house is completely cave-in. But I think this is it. I think that was kind of the last of the stuff we wanted to get out. There's lots of good trim. You can see the trim pieces up there. Really nice trim pieces. Uh, and, uh, you know, that may be something we grab grab a few pieces of uh, maybe as they're taking it down once once we get it torn down. Because uh, some, some of it matches our house, which is uh, you know, it's it's hard to get that stuff created again. Some like really nice floorboards and molding, and you know, nice nice windows here, nice bay window. You could reuse all those sliding windows, you know. I, but if we had the time, we could uh, fix all these up. That's a big old spider there. And you could uh, peel all the paint off and fix all these windows up and use them, but uh, you still need storms anyways because they're not very efficient. So again, you know, if you had all the time in the world, then you can make, you can do stuff with it. But this will probably be the last video here until we tear it down, honestly, because I probably think I've gotten out of it what uh, what we needed, what we wanted. Uh, I'd love to get all the hardwood there. Maybe I will get around to that one time, but uh, it's all tongue groove hardwood. But I think uh, that kind of needs to come out when we tear the house down, honestly. I think if you t pull that up, I think all the floor, all the, the uh, boards and beams underneath the floor would completely pop through. I think that's holding it somewhat to a little bit maybe together. Uh, but that would be lots of good hardwood there to, to reuse. So, anyways, I guess I'll leave it at that. I'll get that last banister to a, a dry location. Nice, nice piece of wood there. And uh, maybe next time you see this stuff, it'll uh, be being put into a brand new house on this property. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, we'll keep the DIY videos coming to you. This wasn't a really uh, a teaching video. But it was a do-it-yourself thing because I was doing it myself. So there you go. Thanks for watching. See you next.